Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to my kitchen. I decided that I want to try and make my own hair products just for fun, like some DIY hair products. And so that's what we're gonna do. I went out and bought all kinds of ingredients to play with and I looked up some tutorials. Um, what I found out was that everyone's just kind of like play with the ratios. So I'm not actually gonna follow any exact recipes. We're just gonna kind of wing it and take it from there. I wanna make a hair product, like a pomade, but I want it to be matte, like more like a clay matte thing. Um, it's kind of getting dark in here, so I'm just gonna really like jump into it. The first thing I wanna make for, how cute is that? That is so cute. So I'm cutting up a block of beeswax. Um, so beeswax is gonna be like the thing that makes the product like have hold. And then I'm adding some shea butter. A lot of the recipes called for like coconut oil. And if I'm being honest, I don't really like coconut oil all that much. It breaks me out a little bit. It doesn't break out everyone, but some people have a hard time with it. I also don't really like it like texturally on its own. So people said shea butter is like a good substitute and they said it makes it less greasy, so it's like more, you usually put an oil in it, like a, a liquid oil, so I'm using jojoba oil. And then to make it matte, I'm mixing in some bentonite clay. Why is this so hard to cut? Oh my God. I ended up spending like a decent amount of money on this. It's definitely not cheaper than, than like buying hair products. <laughs> so I don't really know why I'm doing this anymore. And we're gonna test all these out together over the next couple days and see how they actually work. I guess we'll see. So we are going to melt all of it together in a double boiler, which, but I don't have a heat resistant glass bowl. So the, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do like potception and I'm gonna like put two pots together and we'll see how that goes. I just feel like how cool would it be when people are like, oh my god, I love your hair. What do you use in it? I'm like, I made it myself. I like harvested the wax from like a bee's nest and et cetera. And then, you know, I realized this like after I bought all the ingredients and stuff that um, because I'm using beeswax, these products aren't gonna be vegan. And um, so I'm sorry if you guys are vegan out there and you wanted to try these. Four tablespoons of beeswax that I've chopped up. Cause like, honestly, all of the different recipes are like totally different from one another. I think I'm gonna use like a tablespoon of shea butter. That seems like a lot. I don't know, man. <laughs> so this is like a liquid at room temperature. So this is gonna keep it softer, I would imagine. And like, let's add a tablespoon of that. Cause I'm like, I just feel it. This pot, it like stayed on its own. Oh my gosh. Okay, cool, that's melted. I do wanna say it's not as much like, it's not very much. There's like nothing in there. So we're gonna add some clay. We're gonna add a little bit at a time and just kinda see what it does. A lot of the recipes call for like arrowroot starch, which I'm not a fan of um, here because Arrowroot starch is like a water soluble starch. And when you mix oils and starches together, you need to like have a preservative system. Otherwise it'll just spoil and it like go bad and grow bacteria. So that's why I'm opting for just clay, like just straight clay. Let's add like two teaspoons to start and see what that does. It's like gross colored, ew. I'm gonna add two more teaspoons. Cause I'm bold and daring. So I don't wanna overload it with clay, but I also want it to be like nice and matte and almost gritty. I guess we're done. That seems like too easy. Oh no. Ah, I don't like this anymore. That actually made like a good amount. Like not crazy, but. So it's setting up super quick, which I like. This is like how much product I got. Uh, I'm gonna let that sit and um, like set up. It can't be used right away, obviously. Okay, you guys, that was like, if that works, that's like surprisingly easy. I also want to make a dry shampoo, which should be easy. 
Um, and it's actually really like good opportune timing because they just recalked my bathtub so I can't shower for like a couple hours slash I'm gonna wait till tomorrow morning and my hair is super greasy. We are going to make an arrowroot powder dry shampoo. <laughs> We're gonna do like a couple tests here. So I have three little spice jars and I'm gonna divvy my arrowroot starch up. This isn't working. <laughs> so I have three little containers of arrowroot starch, which is super cheap. And to that, we're gonna add some cocoa powder because this is gonna be like what absorbs the excess oil in your hair as a dry shampoo, but it probably is gonna show up really white in my hair because I have dark hair. So if you have blonde hair, you can leave it white. And if you have like ash brown hair, they say putting cocoa powder in it tints it enough to make it like less obvious. And then for black hair, they say to use um, activated charcoal, which I didn't get, but I found um, they had like black cocoa powder, add, like a half teaspoon of the dark. It makes me kind of weirded out to put cocoa powder in your hair, but I guess it's like, it should be fine. Like, so that's the plain white one. And then that's the one with normal cocoa powder. And then this is the one that I added the black cocoa powder to, which actually looks lighter, but it looks less red. It looks more gray. So that might be like the advantage. I don't know. I'm gonna start with the white one just to see how badly it shows up in my dark hair. And my hair's pretty greasy. I don't know if you can tell. I haven't washed it in a couple days. Been wearing a hat, whatever, etc. <laughs> Did that even do anything? Let's see. I kind of feel like you should just like rub it in your hand and then, you know, rub it in or something. Oh, I see it. It's definitely very white. It's definitely mattified and it, I think it is leaving a little bit of a white cast. I mean, most dry shampoo does. Let's try normal cocoa powder. This would make your hair kind of smell nice, I guess. Like it definitely smells like chocolate, so that's kind of cute. You know, with my hand, definitely messier, but it's kind of interesting. It works in quite quite well. I don't know if you can see. I think it looks pretty good. It's a little bit hard to control versus like a spray, and I'm kind of into it. Like I kind of like it, but I'm not entirely sure. I want to try it again. It's new. It's the next day, and I wanted to give you guys an update. I woke up this morning. Still have not washed my hair, so this is like what, day three? Day four? I used um, the arrowroot starch again, and I think I used the one with the dark chocolate, like the black cocoa powder. Um, really liked it, it did a good job. My hair was pretty greasy, totally like a salvageable hair day. And then there's the hair pomade. <laughs> um, but I did not use nearly enough um, oils. It's like way too hard. I, I made a candle. I made a candle basically is what I did. I made a candle, like there's no way you can get that out. It is solid in there. Like it's, it's solid in there. Like it's not coming out. I want to salvage this somehow. I want to see if I can turn it into something usable. So I'm going to scrape this out, remelt it down, and add more shea butter and jojoba oil. That's the failed, um, the failed pomade candle, and an extra two tablespoons of jojoba oil, and an extra single tablespoon of shea butter. Ah, oh my god. I gotta not do this anymore. Okay, so this is, it's been setting up for a couple minutes. It's still totally liquid. Um, so I think it's gonna take quite a while to set up. I do wanna try and make a like brow gel type of product, but we will see. I'm gonna wait for this to set up and kind of test it on a brow spoolie and see what that's like. I will check in with you guys a little bit later today. So we have some catching up to do. The last clip was from a week ago, and since then I did a third iteration of the formula that I'm really happy with, I actually really love this. After round two, I applied it to my hair and it was super greasy, didn't like it. Also very, very hard to wash out. It was really stuck in there. All right, well, it definitely gave my hair some hold, like you can see it standing up, but it looks, uh, it just kind of looks greasy in my opinion. It does not look very good. Uh, so this is a no. 
Um, so I took it out of the jar and I realized that all of the clay had fallen out of solution um, and the suspension had broke. So all of the clay fell to the bottom of the jar and the oils rose to the top. So it was like inconsistent throughout, um, which you can see in these couple of video clips. So I did test it in my brows and I really liked it. So what I did was I melted it down and poured half of it into like a, a breath mint tin uh, to save to use in my brows and then just worked on modifying the half batch that was left. I added more jojoba oil and then also some more clay and poured it into the jar again. And as it was setting to make sure that the clay stayed in solution, I continuously stirred the product as it was firming up and kind of created like an emulsion with the product and I added more dry clay as it was setting because it felt like it needed more clay. And this also kind of created like a whipped texture, which makes it now easier to get out of the, the jar and work into your hands and stuff. So I really recommend kind of like stirring constantly. It was like a long while. It was like 15 minutes of like casually stirring. So I've been using this for a week. This is the only product I've been using in my hair. Uh, it washes out really easily. Even after using it a couple of days in a row, it washes out. It's not oily. It's very matte. It has like a very good medium hold, depending how much you use. And yeah, very happy with this. And actually turned out, I'll give you guys some close-ups and I also will put it into my hair right now because my hair is clean. Because I kind of like divided the batch in half and then added more stuff, I did write down what I was doing, but I have to do some math to figure out the exact like quantities. And it's gonna be a little bit rough because it was kind of like a little bit estimating whatnot. But if you wanted to try this, this is kind of like the rough breakdown of what I put in there. Um, which speaking of the shea butter and the jojoba oil, uh, are really good and nourishing for your hair. So it's actually kind of like a little bit of like a leave-in conditioner product as well. Pretty pumped about that. And then I also wanted to show you this. I put it in an Altoids container. Um, this is what I kept as brow product. So um, it's a little bit firmer and stiffer than the clay. You can kind of scrape the product up with a spoolie brush into like, you know, this is just like the end of an eyebrow pencil that I have. And I like to kind of put a little bit into the brows. There's a lot on here. I'm trying not to put that much in because <laughs> you don't need very much at all. This will last me forever. Um, and then just kind of use the spoolie to work it in and it'll hold your eyebrows in place. It's like a weird brow pomade. That was, that was it. And they're good. Like they're in place. They're like waxed down. So I really like the separation it gives me in the eyebrow hairs. I'll do a close up for you but I feel like it gives like that kind of like feathery, super natural looking brow. And then also wanted to review the Aero Root Starch Dry Shampoo, which is funny because I just ran out of like my spray Batiste Dry Shampoo, so I've been relying on this. And it's good, I like it, it works good. It mattifies your hair, it smells like cocoa. I'm super pumped and proud of these products, like how they turned out. Like I'm actually gonna use them and not in like a you know when you put a bunch of effort into something and you feel obligated to like follow through on it? Not even in that way. Like I actually want to use these now and I'm, I've been using them over some of the products I already own. So pretty cool. Pretty into this. Um, I... <laughs> Whoa. Anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and uh, I had a, like a really good time making it. It was a little frustrating in the middle when things weren't working out, but I'm glad it turned out and... Uh, yeah. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.